Hello and welcome to Tavasoli's electrical training channel. In this video, as I promised before, I'm going to teach you how to make a universal battery charger, a universal power tool battery charger. Now, as you see, I have here uh, one, two, three, four different types, different shapes, and different sizes of uh, battery operated drills cordless drills 18 volts another 18 volts this is 12 volts and this is 14 and 14.4 volts and they are they all have their own obviously they all ha used to have their own charges and for one reason or the other the charges went out out of order and then they weren't working and um, then I have another um, so, so here, so, so, uh, that is 18 volts also, but they're all different shapes as you will see. Um, they're all different shapes and sizes and they all have different polarities. This, this side is negative, whereas that side is positive. And uh, again, they won't fit in the same charger. So, as I promised before, I would make I'll, I will show you how to make a universal battery charger and in this video I will teach you that <clears throat> with the use of a few parts that I also show you where to buy them from where these uh, bits uh, are sold at and uh, <clears throat> you can buy these things at the links provided at the bottom of the video in the description you can find these things no matter where you are whether you are in America or the UK you can find um, the links to buy these products now this is just an adapter depending on what size of voltage you have what range of voltage you have you can choose an adapter that feeds up to that voltage <coughs> now the charger that I make, the universal charger that I make, can uh, take up to 30 volts. So you can charge anything f from 10 to 30 volts um, within that range. You can charge your uh, car battery if you want. Uh, you can charge anything in between within that range. They don't have to be um, batteries of drills or power tools. They can be anything as long as you set the right uh, value on them. This is a regulator, a battery charger regulator module and it basically shows you how much voltage your battery has currently and you can set the value of the voltage how much you want it to be charged up to maximum and how much the minimum starting value of the voltage you want it to be at what one point you want the battery to start charging so this is basically protecting your battery so it won't get fully charged well it won't it will get fully charged it won't get overcharged so it won't damage the uh, battery and it won't go below uh, the minimum voltage so it, it, again it, it, it might damage the battery <coughs> uh, the input of this kit, as I'll explain when I show you how to wire it up, how to do it, can take, this regulator module can take from 10 to 30 volts. So it has a big range. That is why I said you can choose your adapter, your AC to DC uh, adapter from 10 to 30 volts and anything in between that. Uh, and I provide links to um, adapters, versatile adapters like that, that you can actually select the voltage for different uh, batteries. As you can see, I've charged all these batteries are operational and I don't have a charger for them, but this, the charger is this. And you also need a clamp like this, this size, about six inch uh, tall clamp. Uh, and that is all you need. With all these, with these three elements and some wires, you can do away with 
all the other chargers and carrying them all with you wherever you go with your in your toolbox so you're free and it costs you less and less hassle less time and less money and less space to, to less weight to carry in your toolbox when you can charge anything you want and in the meantime you can charge your car battery too <coughs> this is a very versatile tool nobody has mentioned this nobody has talked about nobody has made this and this is the first uh, video of the of its kind uh, which will be pub which is published or will be published as I'm uh, speaking uh, on YouTube so I hope you enjoy this and if you lo love this video and uh, I, I, would ex I would expect you to share and comment and ask questions if you want and answer all your questions promptly as soon as I see them and uh, if you have any troubles with any of these things uh, ordering them or if you want me to make a kit for you I can do that for you right um, let's get on to it hello and welcome again to another Tavasoli's electrical training video channel uh, today as I promised before I'm introducing <coughs> this voltage regulator kit uh, and show you how we can make a universal uh, lithium ion battery charger for all your drill batteries um, for all your um, power tool batteries if you have anything in your workshop or around the house that the batteries are not um, the battery charger is not working anymore or it's not doing the job it's supposed to do um, then <coughs> we can do away with all your old uh, battery charges as well as all the battery charges different shapes different sizes and their adapters <coughs> To use them for other things. Now each power tool has their own voltage. Now in this case I have a battery for a drill that is 18 volts. Uh, in a separate video I made this up of old drills and uh, where the battery was good but the drill wasn't good and the charger wasn't good but the batteries are still uh, used in this casing for a new drill for a different drill um, now in this video I'm showing you how to make your own uh, battery charger or in other words regulator so the battery doesn't get charged too much to destroy it or it doesn't go below its voltage again to be destroyed so <clears throat> what you do you get one of these kits uh, the links uh, to buy these kits are at the bottom of this video in the description you'll find these links for all these items that I use here to make this um, you need one of these and obviously you need some wires uh, and an adapter now depending on what size of voltages you have around what size of batteries you, batteries you have around the house that you want to charge you can choose your choose your adapter the input voltage for this kit can be from 10 volts to 30 volts so there is a big range there and you can charge batteries your drill batteries your power tool batteries uh, your car battery your motorcycle battery your, any, any batteries that are within that range of 10 to 30 volts as long as you have the right adapter that can provide that much voltage or up to that much voltage in this case because I have an 18 volts battery here this battery is is 18 volts but we're gonna work on this one because my adapter is providing only up to 15 volts uh, so we can still use this charge it up to 15 volts but we can't go to 18 volts because it doesn't give you that in this case I'm charging this battery which is 18 volts and my adapter gives the output voltage of 20 21 volt 22 volts now 
the adapter I have is obviously I've put my own wires there the wire is not long enough so I've used crocodile clips and that will go into the input which is these first two terminals the top one is positive the next one is negative this is your display the two buttons here the first button is to set the uh, starting voltage how much you want the battery to go down before it starts charging and the second one on the right is the button that sets the stop voltage how much do you want to uh, charge the battery before it stops charging now this display doesn't come on until you actually connect the battery to it the battery is connected to the bottom two terminals this one is negative I put black on it and the bottom terminal the last one is positive to the battery so the middle two terminals are negative they're joint really on the PCB they're actually joint now <coughs> you make sure your wire is nicely tucked in the terminal there and then make sure you observe the polarity of the battery because otherwise you can damage the battery or your circuit board in this case this is positive that's negative so I have positive here and negative there and I use this big six inch clamp and it's very good very handy to have Again, the link to buy one of these, or as many as you want, is at the bottom of this video in the description. Now, I haven't, I'm just using this as it is without doing any more work, but you could make this a permanent thing for yourself. You could take these orange bits out, you can, they come off. You can pull them out I'm not gonna try but yeah you can just twist it and it comes off now what you would be able to do or you could do is to drill a hole in here so the wire can come out a little bit and put a plate there solder it to that and pull it back and then you have a permanent <coughs> charging clamp So you have that for any size battery so that is why it can be universal not just because of <laughs> the voltage also because of the clamp it can just fit any size uh, or any dimension batteries so I'm just going to connect that as soon as I connect this you can notice the display coming on there you go the display comes on and it shows 19 volts now 19 volts is the current voltage of this battery so what you do to set the starting point and the stopping point of the volt value of the voltage you press and hold the button down for three seconds right the starting point in this case is set at 13.5 volts I can increase or decrease it by these two buttons this button decreases it and that one increases it so I can increase it and the maximum it gives me at the moment is 14.2 there is a reason for that because if I leave it to flash a few seconds then it goes to current voltage again press this one yes you, you can see the stop voltage is 14.4 previously I was charging a 14.4 voltage uh, battery 14.4 volt battery so that's why I put the maximum charge on that now if I put that there and hold that again three seconds starts flashing when it does that as it's flashing you can increase or decrease that, that amount I'm just going to increase that to 18 volts 
because my battery now is 18 volts. I've changed it. So the battery is 18 volts. The maximum stop voltage is going to be 18 volts. The start voltage we set it at 14.2. I can change that again pressing holding it down three seconds when it's flashing you can change that. I've changed it to 16 volts. Let's just say 16 volts. Don't change, don't make too much of a gap between start and stop but not too much of a narrow gap, gap either because it keeps uh, switching it on and off, on and off. Uh, you don't want that. You want it on for a long time until it gets fully charged and then off. At the moment, as you can see, the LED, there is an LED here, it's off. Why? Because the voltage, the current voltage is 19 volts and the set uh, maximum voltage is 18. It only starts charging if that is below the maximum set voltage. So <clears throat> at the moment I haven't connected the adapter or the, the input voltage to the, to the circuit board. So it's not doing anything, but even if it was connected, it wouldn't do anything. The relay is switched off. There is a relay here and this LED indicates the relay is on or off. At the moment it's off, so the input wouldn't be connected to the output. When it's on, basically the input gets connected to the output. Negative is already connected, positive gets connected through this relay and that's what it does and it charges and keeps va taking the measurement of the voltage of the current uh, current voltage of the battery. If it is below that it keeps charging. If it is above the maximum set value um, it, it stops it. Right. <clears throat> now just for demonstration I'm just going to increase this. Um, Right, this is the, 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 the starting value, so I'll just leave it at 16, sorry. Uh, but I'll change the maximum voltage or stop voltage to uh, something that we can see now, to 20, right? And you can see the LED coming on and a, and a click of the relay. the maximum value the maximum value we just change it to bring it down to let's say 20 volts and I'm gonna connect this adapter to the power that's your negative Right, <clears throat> let's see why it's not switching on. At the moment is 19 and the set value is 20. Um, I increase that again. 21, 21 and a half. Right, the, the reason it didn't come on was the minimum starting voltage was below your set value that you want to charge. So because it was below that, a lot below that, um, it, it wouldn't come on. <clears throat> so you have to have it right. So your starting, starting voltage is 19. If it is below that, it's not going to start charging because you're saying I'm still okay. When it gets below that, then it starts charging. So at the moment, I've set it at 19.2 and the current voltage was 19. So as you can see, you heard the click, the relay clicked, switched on, 
and the LEDs come on. It will keep charging as you can see it's 18.9, 18.8 is flashing between 18.8, 18.9 and it's stabilizing on 18.9 and, and then it will get to 19 volts. When it gets to 19 volts again it will switch off because you said it's okay my starting point is you know the, the I'm, I'm still within the good range that's why i said you shouldn't have a big gap of a uh, start and stop uh, and you shouldn't have very much of a narrow gap either so it should you should just get it the right uh, amount it depends on your voltage and depends on your discretion and this is it um, now I'm just going to let the video run a little bit just to show you the bat battery is charging to 90 old although this battery is not supposed to charge to more than 18 volts because it's an 18 volt battery but it's just showing that it, it does work because my input is more than 19 volts and it's 20 volt 20 20 to 21 volts so it does give me that and these batteries have a little bit of tolerance it does accept a little bit more not too much if you give it too much it can be dangerous it can they can explode and they can completely destroy um, your battery or your whole workshop <laughs> be careful I'm not recommending that one I'm just doing this because I know what I'm doing so don't um, do what I'm doing but do the rest I'm teaching you to do so you can see the voltage is at 18.9 or 8 and the LED is on that means this input is basically connected to the output which is to the battery and that's about it right I'll see you again with another video on electrical or electronic engineering see you again and like I said you find the links to buy this regulator this clamp um, and crocodile clips at the bottom of the video in the description thank you again this is Feridon on Tavasoli's electrical training channel talk to you later and Goodbye for now.